Hey everybody, Ron Howard back at it. <laughs> I'm just seeing a message from Daryl from uh, Crockett Fantasy of Light saying, Hey, where the heck is my skull? I want to see that on your video on your big P10 matrix. All right, Daryl, I promise. I, I, right, as soon as I do this short tutorial, that'll probably be drawn out because now I'm talking about you and your stuff and P10 panel matrixes. Oh my gosh, where does this ever end folks hey big shout out to mark rash my buddy who uh steered me in the right direction today uh, i've been playing around with my p10 and and different footages footage i'll just say footage footages i'm back in east texas already uh and how to get it to look really good you know for the most part if you're just looking at color graphics on there it looks fine but as soon as you start putting some video content on there where the dynamic range varies uh, it starts looking muddled or it might look really washed out and let's face it these p10 panels are hella bright so we have to control that a little bit so i've been messing around with dimming curves and just bringing the the brightness down well i found this cool little thing and i'll drag it over here about messing inside of the BBB and, and let me get over here. Let me pull the right one up here. This is the one we'd be playing in here And we're gonna go through this little exercise Now uh, earlier when I tried this uh, before I went on a bike ride uh, I wasn't able to get it to save correctly because I was on my Windows machine and when I came back I did it on my uh, Ma my Mac Book Pro and it worked without any issues. So we'll try it again on this one just so you can see how it works. But these are the instructions that we're gonna go over right here once we get into the FPP on the BBB. Got it? Falcon player on the Beagle Bone Black or green, whatever you may have. And we'll go through these. Before I make those changes, while I'm over here in one of my shows, and this was asked on one of the uh in the forums and on facebook you know so where are you making these changes so i have two matrices right here when we go to the dimming curves you're going to see my settings before i did all this i was over here playing in you know this section here uh brightness gamma for each separate one well i didn't need really need to do that so i just went to this one made the gamma 1.8 so the lower that number the brighter that is the higher the number the darker it's going to get. So 1.8 is a good uh, middle ground, I think, for the panel. And it may vary. I mean, if you have a really large panel, uh, it's going to be really bright. If you have a smaller one, it may not make as much difference. I also turned it down to negative 30. Now, when I get this stuff up on the house, and if I see my other lights are overpowering it, then I'll simply inch this guy back up to where it will compete and blend. It's all about blending, right? So this area again, I just went to single brightness gamma 1.8, brightness negative 30. And I did that for both. Now I haven't seen what it looks like on this one yet because I'm gonna have to buy another Beagle Bone Black, most likely for this, and a power supply for this. Oh, it's just money, right? I need two jobs. <coughs> all right. So let's get into this. And this is going to be interesting because I don't know. You guys can't see me, but I'm holding a mic that I would normally have on a camera if I was videotaping. It's a shotgun mic. And I'm just too lazy, I guess, to get a stand. I guess I could tie it around my neck, but I have to kind of hold it close to my face to get it to sound decent. Anyway, let's try this. I'm going to bring this guy back over here so we can see some instructions. I'm going to have to scoot this over to make some, give us some real estate space here. There we go. That's getting there. I just need to be able to see these instructions. All right. So first thing we have to do is go over to help and we go to our SSH shell. It's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to go in here? This is not safe. You could get some type of virus. The FBI is on their way. What have you? And it's going to ask us for a login. And it's FPP. You hit enter. And the password is Falcon. F-A-L-C-O-N. And enter. And this takes us to the screen here. 
Here's the deal. You mess this up, you're in trouble. You do this at your own risk playing with language inside the FPP. Nobody's given you permission to do this. It's all on your own accord. So try to type this stuff exactly as you would see it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to copy. At least I'm going to see if it'll do this. I haven't tried this yet. No, it's not going to let me do that. That would that would be too easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's CD uh, space forward slash. Okay. It's important that you have the spaces in here just as you see it. OPT forward slash FPP forward slash SRC forward slash PRU and I'm gonna take a look at it did I type it right CD space opt FPP SRC PRU hit enter otherwise if it's wrong it's gonna give you error saying I don't know what you're trying to do with me then it's sudo space nano now we're programming Falcon matrix p I believe Falcon matrix dot p hit enter and it takes you to this big scary screen and it's telling us over here then edit the brightness level from default 7 value okay so you're gonna use your arrow keys you're gonna come down here and you're gonna scroll over here and if that was a 7 you had backspace, put in the five, and then we're gonna scroll to the very bottom. And actually, I don't think we even have to do that. I think if we just hit the control X, that should exit out of here. I'm gonna try this again. Ah, it does it, I love it. So pay attention down here at the bottom. When I hit control X, it says save modified buffer, answering no will destroy changes. Hate the word destroy, it's such a, such a harsh term. All right. So we're going to hit yes so we don't kill it. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. And at this point, dun, 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 file name, right, pay, yes. And I'm going to hit enter again. And it brings us back to this screen here. And we have some more syntax to type. We're going to put in sudo make, S U D O space make. Hit enter. Gives you all types of warnings. I just voided my warranty on this whole thing, right? And then we're going to hit sudo make release. sudo make release. Uh, let's make sure that that's right. I don't want caps. It w probably shouldn't matter, but I am not familiar with this language, so I'm not even going to change it. sudo make release. Hit enter. And that's it. Uh, I took a chance and typed exit to get me out of it, and it did do that. And so I don't need this anymore. Then it says restart the service. Surface. Service. <laughs> you don't have to restart the entire controller. Just hit restart FFPD or FPPD. And it has restarted. What we have done now is we have changed the default brightness setting on the panels from seven to five and if you want just take a look at that and see if it makes everything better as is and if it's still too bright on some of your footage then that's cool come over here go to your panel go over to your dimming curves and maybe change it from gamma 1 to 1.8 1.4 play around with the brightness and try to get a common feel for your dynamic range that will look good throughout your entire show. There may be some give or takes like, well, you know, one of my songs is a little too bright in this other area, but when I bring it down, four songs suffer. So you you, you got to figure out the sweet spot there and play around with it. And remember, each time you make these changes and you're in your song, you need 
to render it, to take those settings. Then you're going to take that FSEQ file and you're going to go to your Falcon Pi player and you are going to upload that to the file manager. Now I already have it here. Uh, if I was going to replace any of these, I don't have to delete it first. All I have to do is if it's the same name, it overwrites it and puts it, put it in its place. And don't forget, if you're running the Pi and the BeagleBone, my Pi is the master. I'll show you here. Master player. And the BBB is the remote. So when one song starts playing on the Pi, it triggers the BBB. And it is important that you also put the same FSEQ file on the BBB. You want them to match. Doesn't matter what order they're in, but you need to have the S FSEQ files on both. You don't need any audio on this, on the BBB. That's all controlled from the Pi, and that'll be used for my EDM, for FM, which should be in th later this week. So maybe that'll be a fun tutorial. Uh, the other thing I did want to share with you on the Falcon player, what was it? Was it anything in here? No, no. If we have to do a, a tutorial on the Falcon player, the BBB, we can certainly do that at some other point. We can talk about multi-sync. Uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty easy after you do it a couple of times. So if you're new to this, you're getting into the Pi and the BBB, uh, drop me a line. Tell me what it is you want to see and how to set it up. I've got this stuff running fine. I'm running two different routers. It's working perfectly. Um, so it's not sharing the same network as my household items are with that router so I won't have any issues with traffic and other than that I don't think there was anything else I was going to show you here file manager playlist nope for now we're good all right I hope this was helpful you guys have a great evening talk to you soon